Okay, so I'm going to end my poor man's review of the Mars 4 DLP there. Unfortunately, I only managed to get a couple of models off the printer. Now, everyone in the comments from the last video was asking, come on man, show us the print. So, I managed to quickly get some prints done, some very basic photos and video taken on. Unfortunately, my camera is not very good, so I managed to capture them the best I could. Now, annoy annoyingly, um, I would have had more... Um, prints to compare, but unfortunately the Mars 4, I had the issues with Lychee, which I'm hoping will be sorted shortly. Now I can't blame them for that, I'm not going to hold it against them, because the Photon D2 has only just added support, you know, and that came out a long time ago, so before you was locked to um, any Cubic software on the D2, whereas the Mars 4, straight away you can use it with Lychee, um, but unfortunately for me, it did seem to work straight away. And then we had the issue with the USB as well, so the USB drive that come with the printer. Um, I know they're rubbish, I probably should have just scrapped it from the beginning. And I use that Voxel Dance software that come with the printer to slice the models, which I don't have a clue how to use. I sort of was winging it, tried to copy most of the parameters from um, Lightsheet over. And the slicing wasn't really a problem. I just had, like I said, the failures with Lightsheet to begin with. Then I had the um, failure yesterday where it just randomly stopped printing halfway through the print. And um, I think that was due to the USB drive being crap. Maybe it got knocked don't think anyone was out yet, so I don't think that happened. Um, okay, to summarise, I think these machines are great. The problem is the Photon D2 and the Mars 4 DLP, they're both limited by their small build plates. Now, it's great, they use way less energy, so if you're worried about electricity costs, obviously the, um, the one-fifth of the power of a something like a Sonic Mini 8K is great. However, for me, I do believe the Sonic Mini 8K is a better printer than these because you get the slightly bigger build plate. Now, before um, it would be a tough choice because the Mini 8K would be about six to seven hundred pounds, but currently the uh, price has been slashed to about 500 and right now you can pre-order the Sonic Mini 8K S, which is the exact same printer as the 8K, just slightly different rails and it's sort of like a, um, a cost-cutted version down, but it's still got the exact same screen, so it's going to print exactly the same. And then on top of that, you've got the Mars 4 Ultra 9K, which is coming out now. I think there's review units being sent out. So it all comes down to how big the build plate is on that, which I think is a 7-inch screen, and whether or not that will print better than the, um, the DLP or the Sonic Mini 8K. You thought it would do having a 9K screen and an 18 micron um, print resolution. So that is something to look out for. So it all comes down to cost. The DLP are currently a little bit too pricey for what you get, but then you also get a lot for your money as well. So with that confusion, I'm going to end the video.